a gruesome discovery. Workers at a hospital in Mapale district in central Sri Lanka found this mass grave. It contains the remains of 154 people. Dr. Ajit Jayasena is the judicial medical officer in charge of the investigation. I have informed that to the courts regarding that there are, there are features of a uh, scene of crime in this site. Dr. Jayasena says detailed analysis of the remains must be carried out. Bone samples will be sent abroad to find out when they died and soil analysis of the area is also being done. There were uh, bundles and bundles of skeletal remains and the other thing is direction of the burial uh, and uh, certain injuries which I have already informed to the courts. Uh, so they are unlikely to be that it's a normal burial site. Some say these are victims of a smallpox outbreak from a hundred years ago, while others believe they may be those killed by a flood some years ago. But the evidence of violence points to a possible crime that these may be victims of a violent government crackdown of a youth uprising, either in 1971 or during the late 1980s. The Marxist party, whose members were killed during the uprisings, is calling for a speedy and proper investigation into the grave. The group says this site could potentially be where some of its members may have been buried. <laughs> Victims murdered in the past were burnt, thrown in rivers in an attempt to get rid of the evidence. The Matalo mass grave is one such attempt, when the government at the time murdered over 60,000 of our youth. A speedy and methodical investigation into the Matalo grave is important for all Sri Lankans to know the origin of one of the biggest mass graves found in their country. Mina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Matalo, Central Sri Lanka.